Hello everyone, and today we are back with another tutorial on Intermediate Programming and Theory. Now, today we are going to be doing the 8th tutorial, which is actually a lesson again, and we are going to be doing it on music files, playing music. So, once again, if you have not been, uh, if you're new to this series or if you haven't seen any of the other ones, Go back seven episodes to episode one, and you'll hear the full history of the program and the first command that you should be able to learn to do. And, but if you're with us right now, stay with us, and we'll keep going. So today we're gonna go on another. Um, type, we're gonna try another type of command, and these are the music commands. So, mu um, what it comes to making games and stuff, and uh, different programs, you always need music or some sound effects files of some kind to be able to assist your um, your work. It's like a, like a audio aid, and these are really good because they really like add that extra oomph that you need to do it, to your program. So you can get background music, you can get uh, certain just different uh, music at all times. Sorry about that. Someone walked in. Okay, so um, uh, yeah, so you can use music for a lot of things. Now I am gonna open up this program I made. Now, um, you can't hear the music, but basically what this program does is that it plays a looping file in the background, and it will when I run it. Well, you can't hear it right now. After I press this button and the music's very loud, it will start doing these. Uh, Commands. Now you'll see these in another um, episode where I'll show you the uh, drawing commands. But for now, we're going to stick to music. So if we go back to the other, okay. Um, so if we stay here, there are a couple of commands you can do. Music dot play. Music dot play file. Music dot Play file loop. Now these are the three main ones I can uh, show you right now. But there's a lot of other commands such as fork and um, music file. There's other. There's a lot of other music commands, but those are just uh, general. Like they are more advanced. We don't really need to know those because these are the more important. Ones. So the way uh, these three work are basically we have play file uh, play, which is it'll play a uh, computer generated sound, a play file which will play a any uh, music file, and a play file loop which will make the background. So, um, wait one second. Sorry about that. Okay, so uh, we have the three different files right here, and basically we're gonna start off with music play. So music play is a command. Let's just get rid of these. Uh, music play is a command where it allows you to play computer generated notes. So, um, if you if you take the music play command and I put them here in this software, uh, I basically am saying to the program, play the note A, B, C, D, E, F, G consecutively. So after uh, music dot play A is done, uh, it will move on to B and uh, C and then so forth all the way to G, and the program will be finished. So uh, if I run this right now, then so the sound will actually uh, it won't come out for you guys because um, you guys can't hear it. But when I play this, it will consecutively go through the different notes. So it'll go A B C D E F G, and then it'll stop. So I'm not gonna actually I'm not gonna run that. But uh, let's move back to the other one. So uh, right here we already talked about play play uh, which how you use it is uh, music dot play open brackets a quote and then you type in the note you want so a close quote close bracket and that's how you properly do uh, music dot play so now that we've done that we're gonna move on to music dot play file now uh, the way you do this file uh, this one is that after you write music dot play file you are going to do open bracket quote and then you're going to type in the file name so this i'm actually going to save this this uh, program 
I'm gonna save this under funky and I'm gonna call it s t because that's the file extension. Now I'm gonna write music.play file and then all uh, since funky is the file that was the sound file that was in this folder, I'm gonna make it play this sound uh, file. So you need to get it exactly right. So you may even want to copy it off there. So funky capital F funky dot goes close close bracket. And then now what this is gonna do is that it's gonna basically tell the computer, okay, uh, it's the music file. I want it to play the file that's in the folder with the same save as this uh, software is saved under, and I want it to read the file funky from under the fun uh, the same folder that it's in. So if you put if I put this uh, sound file on my desktop, it would not be able to find it off my computer and uh, play it. It has to be in the same folder that you're running. And if it's a new program and you didn't save your program, it has to be in the same uh, folder as your Turing.exe. So when I play this, you can't actually hear it, but I can. Um, it's going to start playing my music. But if I make one wrong thing, then it won't do anything to me. So it's not going to do anything to me right now. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. So that's it for this one. Now we're going to move on to the final one. Music.playfile loop. So now, if you look at that, uh, let's go back to that other program I had here. Uh, open. I'm gonna open this one. So look, now if I go here and get rid of this loop, um, when I got rid of the loop, if I press get funky, it's gonna start playing the music, but it's not gonna do any of these following commands, the draw commands, because uh, music.play file is its own command, so it's is getting annoying. Okay, so basically what's going on here is that since um, music.play file is a command for running a uh, file and, and it is its own command, you will not be able to really, um, it won't do any of these commands until the music file is done playing. So that's why we do slash uh, music file dot music dot play file uh, loop, and that basically what it does is it tells it that it's the background music, and that will make it go uh, while it's playing this, while it's looping this music, it will actually do this following commands that I made it do. Um, yeah, so that's basically what uh, music dot play file loop does. I am going to save this again. And then close it. And um, once again, like the other files, you have to do open bracket, the file name for funky dot WAPS to spell case sensitively. And then when I run this, yeah, it's gonna start playing the music. It's gonna start playing the music. So that is it, and that's basically it for this tutorial on music production and stuff like that, and music playing in curing. Now, once again, if the uh, audio quality, my voice in this video was bad. Please leave a comment below saying that you want to re-upload, and I will be happy to do that at any time. So, yeah, that's basically it. We'll see you guys for the next one, which is where we're gonna get we're gonna get on drawing commands. Peace.